Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I slept through Arena, Bruh. so um, here we are. <laughs> anyway, in this video, I'm going to share with you two tips that I think are very important for the game and that can make your gameplay a lot easier. I don't think they are absolutely necessary, but they can make you enjoy the game a lot more than you currently are now, and it's just kind of a quality of life. You know what? I'm going to stop babbling up about and I'm just going to jump right into the first tip now the first tip has to do with logging into the game and when you are playing the game i'm going to do this right now and you will notice that when you log into the game sometimes you receive a comment from an ally or so that is up here and you cannot remove that comment you have to wait for the ally to actually finish talking before you can actually tap on it which can be quite annoying most times right but like, look at this right now so uh, i'm gonna just Bruh. see another one pops up so anyway, I removed them. I'm going to redo this again and explain what I did and how it actually works and how it can be impactful for your gaming experience. Alright, we're back and what I wanted to explain was that chat bubble up there is from your allies. Like I said earlier, your allies, your kids, heck, even your pets can woof woof at you up there. What? And it's quite very difficult for you to actually tap on your events and, you know, actually do your events until they finish talking. And like you saw, sometimes more than one will actually talk at the same time. And while they are talking, you are unable to click on any of these events right here, which can actually delay you in getting to play your game. So you have to actually wait, especially if you are late for an event like training arena. Uh, it's going to delay you even some club contest events and stuff you have to wait for them to finish talking and some of them talk slow meanwhile Anjo is the one that talks the slowest out of all allies and it takes so long for him to finish his speech and you have to wait through all of it before you can actually tap on your events and stuff but what you can actually do is something I just learned and did right now something I learned this month which is November I've been playing Dragon Raja for about four years since March of 2020 and this is november 2024 and i didn't know this i just endured it so all you have to do is for pc you left click and drag upwards and you actually remove it and for mobile you tap and drag so tap hold drag for pc click hold drag that's the easiest way to get rid of that and i didn't know this was a thing I, if you knew about this congrats um I feel dumb for just realizing this right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so anyway, let's jump to the next one. Now the next tip has to do with Battlegrounds. I have already shared some of these before in I think a couple different videos, but I thought I should do it again because for some reason we are having a lot of players in Dragon Raja. Where the hell are you guys coming from? A lot of new players. It's crazy. I tested this the last Dragon Raja stream and it actually still works so I said why not make a video about it or include it in this video and share it with you guys. Now this tip is to help you choose a team for Battlegrounds. What? That's right, you get to choose what team you actually get to be in. And this only works right now for Day of Liberty, uh, the one for Snowmoon Battleground has been patched or so I don't I don't really know it has been patched but this one I don't really consider it a, a bug I consider it just like a quality of life addition that most people did not take note about so this only works for day of liberty and uh, I'll keep experimenting with some other place and see if we can actually use things like this in there maybe when, when I don't fall asleep and miss my bed <laughs> so what you have to do is oh you know what I actually did this in my previous stream so I'll just show you guys it Sorry for the audio, I'm sorry in advance for the audio, I didn't know I was trying out a different headpiece and it had some audio issues, but this is how the trick works. Ooh, let's see if that trick still works. What do I want to choose? Do you, do you see more of the right team? You guys can choose from which one we should go into. Anyone that can just come in chat, do you already? Then I will walk towards that and see if we can, you know, use that one trick to select a place. We have to be fast because we only have 30 seconds. Red, all right, let's do this. I can't double jump. Well, let's try it. I hope, I hope there's still enough time for it. I need to pass this thing. I passed it. I passed it. Let's keep going. We got it. It still works. We are red. <laughs> and that's how you choose your team in uh, Battlegrounds. It works for day of the body. Uh, for Snowball Battlegrounds, it's a different trick, but they've fixed it. I think I'm not exactly sure. What I think the right team. Okay, oh, it's here. Yo! Good to say, so I can laugh at you when you die. <laughs> so that's basically how the trick works. You just need to make sure you pass those two pillars that are the size of um, each, you know, leading to each areas in Day of Liberty. You just need to make sure you pass by them 
before the timer reaches one second or zero second and if you can go further even better now don't do this too soon and don't do this too late if you want the trick to work and you can use this to maybe you and your friends go into the same team like i did with k9 or you and your friends go into different teams or frenemies go into different teams and you can compete against each other so you know that's where you can have unlimited pvp in battlegrounds and stuff so it can be pretty fun if you do this or if you use the trick properly and it works for you so I, every time i've used it it has worked at least 90 something percent let's just say 90 something percent because it only failed a couple times the first time i was trying to understand how it works and for now every time it works so anyway these are the two tips and tricks i guess i wanted to share with you if you have any more tips and tricks you can drop them in the comment section of this video and i will actually probably make a video about them and share them with you guys now before we end the video i just want to let you all know that i've been seeing your comments for a guide video of flora mansa and a guide video of what's the name of the other class phantom sound why 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 do you want a guide video of phantom sound <laughs> <laughs> I know it's one of the most fun classes in the game to play, but it literally gets obliterated by everyone. The only class Phantom Sound can actually defeat right now is probably an Adam. Bruh. No offense. I'm just I'm just stating the fact how it is right now. But anyway, if you want that, I probably will see if I can still make the video for you guys and release it when I'm free. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more content. Hope you guys have a lovely week and uh, take it easy, guys. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're responsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it though You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro No, it's your time, no